Everybody's talking about artificial intelligence these days. AI. It's the buzzword echoing through every industry, every tech panel, and seemingly every dinner table. Whether it's powering your Netflix recommendations, helping your car, park itself, or writing emails for your boss, AI is no longer the future. It's here, now, and it's changing everything. But just when you think you're starting to understand it, another term jumps into the mix, machine learning, and before. You can even process that someone drops deep learning. Then suddenly, generative AI, chatbots, deep fakes, language models. It feels like the ground keeps shifting beneath your feet, and no one's really explaining how all these pieces fit together. So let's slow it down, not with buzzwords or jargon, but with real talk. Let's demystify this entire AI landscape and tell the story of how machines went from obeying commands to understanding language, to generating ideas. Because once you see how it all connects, you'll realize this isn't just a tech trend, it's a whole new era of human machine. Collaboration. Artificial intelligence at its core is the dream of creating machines that can mimic human intelligence. Not just follow instructions, but think, learn, reason, decide. It's been a fascination for decades ever since computers were invented, but for a long time, it was just that, a dream, field of research, mostly confined to university labs. In science fiction novels back in the 70s and 80s, early AI programs were built around rules. If X happens, do Y these were called expert systems. You had to tell the machine everything, every rule, every exception. There was no learning, just rigid logic, powerful in some ways but limited. The real breakthrough came when we stopped trying to program intelligence and instead let the machines learn it themselves. Enter machine learning, rather than hand code every instruction. Machine learning lets computers figure out the patterns from data. You show a machine a thousand photos of cats and eventually it starts recognizing what a cat looks like. Not because you told it cats have whiskers and pointy ears, but because it found that pattern in the data. The more you feed it, the smarter it gets. Not in a conscious way, but in a way that allows it to make predictions, spot anomalies, and solve problems far faster than any human ever could. That's why machine learning exploded. It became the engine behind spam filters, recommendation, systems, fraud detection, even medical diagnostics. Instead of programming intelligence, we were training it. The machine was no longer a tool. It was becoming a student. But that was just the beginning, because inside the realm of machine learning, there's a deeper, more complex layer, one inspired directly by the human brain. Deep learning. Deep learning uses neural networks, systems that simulate how our own brains process information. These networks have layers, each one learning and transforming data a little more than the last. The deeper the network, the more abstract and powerful the insights it can uncover. That's why it's called deep learning. It can detect not just patterns, but patterns within patterns. Deep learning is what powers facial recognition, autonomous vehicles, real-time language translation. It's what allowed an AI to beat a world champion at the ancient game of Go, a feat once thought to be decades away. The model didn't just learn rules, it learned strategy, it learned intuition, and then it started teaching itself. But even that wasn't the final form, because now we're in the age of generative AI. This is where things get wild. Generative. AI doesn't just learn from data, it creates new data. It can write essays, compose music, generate images, clone voices, even produce video. It's not just consuming information, it's producing it. And behind that magic is a class of models known as foundation models. The most famous type, large language models, or LLMs. These are trained on massive data sets, think books, websites, conversations, and they learn the structure, rhythm, and meaning of language. They don't just predict the next word. They predict entire paragraphs, entire pages, entire ideas. When you chat with something like ChatGPT, it feels like you're talking to a person. But what's really happening is prediction. It's seeing your words, 
comparing them against trillions of patterns and generating a response that feels human. And it doesn't stop with text. There are AI systems now that generate hyper-realistic images, entirely synthetic voices, and eerily convincing video all from a single prompt. That's where deepfakes come from. That's how entire songs can be created in the voice of a celebrity. That's how a photo of the Pope in a puffer jacket nearly broke the internet and wasn't even real. This is the power and danger of generative AI, because while the technology is incredible, it's also a mirror. It reflects our intentions, it amplifies our capabilities for good or for harm. A chatbot can help someone learn a new language, or it can be weaponized for scams. A voice cloning model can restore speech to someone who's lost it, or impersonate a politician for disinformation. The line between help and harm is razor thin. But here's the thing. The genie isn't going back in the bottle. We are now living in a world where machines can talk, think, create, and evolve. It's not like humans, not with emotion or consciousness but with a kind of mechanical fluency that's undeniably powerful. The key is not to fear it, but to understand it, to use it responsibly. To shape it, artificial intelligence is no longer about robots in a lab. It's in your phone, your browser, your bank account, your social media feed. It's not five years away, it's here. It's getting smarter every single day. The evolution is clear. First, we built machines that followed rules. Then we taught them to learn. Next, we gave them the ability to think in layers. And now we've unleashed creativity. It's all AI, but within that, each layer, machine learning, deep learning, generative AI, is a step in a much larger story. Story of human innovation, curiosity, and ambition. So next time you hear the term AI, remember, it's not just one thing. It's a spectrum a journey, a revolution in progress. And you're living right in the middle of it. This isn't science fiction. This is science present. And the only real question now is, what will you do with it? Will you ignore it, fear it? Or will you learn it and use it to build, create, solve, imagine? Cause A, I won't replace you, but someone who knows how to. Use it absolutely might. If this opened your eyes or made you think differently about AI, hit that like button so we can reach more people with this message. And if you want to go deeper into this world, we've got more videos coming that break it all down. So hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss the next episode. Got questions? Drop them in the comments, we read every one. This isn't just about the future of tech. It's about the future of how we live, work, think, and create. Let's explore it together.